a small video about the Darlington. Very popular circuit. I've made, uh, I think, quite a few uploads about the Darlington. But in this uh, video it's going to be short, only the very uh, principles. You see a lamp. This is the, the power supply transistor. This is the first transistor, the driver. This is the N transistor, the 2N3055. Can handle a lot of current, that's important. This is the circuit. A tiny current in means a lot of current here. Kind of an avalanche here in current. The load can be everything. Can be a lamp, um, a loudspeaker, a relay, a transformer, etc. etc. This is an NPN circuit, so we need a positive voltage, a positive current here to make um, to make here a high current flow. I want to demonstrate that. This is the driver transistor. When I touch it with my finger, now we see nothing because my finger is not positive. It's a kind of mass. It's an, I think it's negative. Put down the camera now and I move my one finger to the to the base and the other finger to the positive lead. Now the base gets positive, the Darlington starts to conduct and you can see quite a high current. In audio amplifiers there are often two Darlingtons, classical audio amplifiers I mean. No chips amplifiers, but classical audio amplifiers. And then uh, each Darlington takes one part of the circuit, one um, the positive uh, part of the wave, and the other one the negative part of the wave. But that's not what this uh, video is all about. Here the very basic circuit for an audio amplifier, one mega ohm. Um, potentiometer. Here you send in your audio signal. Uh, it will not amplify so much. I think 200 milliwatts, perhaps 400 milliwatts. And this resistor here is important to safeguard your Darlington, that it doesn't burn out. Set the working point with this potentiometer. So this is a linear amplifier. And the linearity has to do with the position from this potentiometer and also the resistor here. We go to the next circuit. By the way, important to tell, always uh, there are many videos on YouTube regarding this issue, but the total amplification is the amplification from the first transistor amplified by the amplification factor from the second transistor. So when we put in here, one milliampere in this example, and both transistors have an amplification factor from 70. The maximum current that can flow here is 4.9 ampere. Of course, it's limited by the load, the resistor, the relay, whatever that may be. Another amp other application from a Darlington, a lamp driver. I showed it uh, a few moments ago. Uh, we make a positive voltage here, the lamp starts to light up in a very powerful way. Practical voltages between 12 and 18 volts for this circuit with a not cooled uh, 2N3055. It's all the same in this circuit. Tiny current here, big current here. Here we have a relay driver. Also very easy to make. You, you can use a relay. A 9 volt relay works good on 12 volts and a 12 volt relay works good on 18 volts approximately because we have some voltage loss here in the Darlington. To safeguard your relay you can use a, a, a thousand volts a silicon diode here or sometimes a resistor to damp out the very, very high peak voltages here. 
to test it again, uh, make your fingers wet and connect with one hand this location to this location, you will see that your relay switches. Finally another application, a transformer, all the same circuit. In fact it's more or less the same as the audio circuit, but now we have not a uh, loudspeaker here, but a transformer. Uh, the transformer has to be made for frequencies that this as a combination can handle. That's approximately between 10 Hz and say 50 kHz. When you send here an audio signal from 10 Hz up to 20 kHz and you have here a neon tube, a uh, noble gas lamp, you will see that the noble gas lamp lights up at a high voltage, say 100 volts, 200 volts, 300 volts. And that has also to do with the properties from the transformer. Here we have a low ohms um, coil, here a high ohms coil and the ratio between these two windings sets the, the output voltage. Say we have here 10 windings and here 1000 windings, then the ratio is 100. When we uh, put in here approximately 2 volts, the output voltage we will be approximately 200 volts. All rules of sump, you have to test that yourself, etc. Set the working point with the potentiometer here. This resistor prevents that your Darlington burns out. When the base current in the Darlington gets too high, both transistors will burn out immediately. And you can't, um, you can see that or hear that sometimes you can smell it when this transistor burns out. So a simple circuit. And by the way, you can also use um, not a 2N3055 but a BD139 here. Here a BD139 and here a BD139. The amplification from the BD139 is generally spoken very high, say between 70 and uh, 150. And that means when you use this formula you will get an extreme amplification when you use two uh, BD139s in the circuit. And a BD139 can handle approximately 3 up to 5 watts. Cool it well when it's necessary. Heat is the big destroyer from your transistors. Always cool them well. Wish you luck with this circuit.